Black is Fam. It's your boy B. Uh, I'm going through some of my music. I got a whole queue of things that I got uh, read, just ready for the breakdown, right? Where we can start doing these intelligent breakdowns, start breaking down the bars, going through the lyrics, imagery. Uh, and yo, I see this song called 100 Chicago's. Uh, and you know, I'm from Chicago, right? And it's from Lupe Fiasco. So yo, gotta check it out. I know this cat at one point talked about retiring. Uh, really curious to what this cat has to say, especially if it's about my city. Uh, yo, let's get right to it. Let's check it out. That's this. What if rap had a blacksmith? Yeah. Where's all this going, man? Come on, blockbuster video. Don't you know you got to rewind before you rent it again? Come on now. Who knows about blockbuster? Who's old school like that? So, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, my dog Golden, my heart bleed, Madison and home. Yeah. What's up? Back to Madison and Keswick, Madison and Albany, right back into home again, where them dwellings was in Billings. Yo, for those that don't know, these are areas on the west side of Chicago, right? Uh, that's, what, that's what he's referencing, Madison and Holman. Uh, what's that? That tops and bottoms is right there. Uh, Holman is considered Kimball, but when you get so far south, it turns into Holman. Uh, so Madison is where, also where, uh, is it Lake or Madison, where it starts uh, going the opposite direction, where you start to hit south. I believe it's actually Lake Street, but Madison is close to that. So he's just referencing the west side of Chicago. Uh, yo, that's, uh, I, got, I got a property over there, and I, I spent some time over there, uh, but more towards like uh, Lake and Laramie, if you would. Intelligent and skilled until the fellas got the felons in their feelings. Ooh. Yelling to the ceiling. Skeleton, the pelicans, the skeletons, and villains. Oh, no. Oh, got a little auto to a little bit fiasco. Oh, come on now. You come more uh, harder than that. Normally, it's something really yeah. lyrical. Yeah. Uh, my dog Golden. My heart bleed, Madison at home. Yeah. Back to Madison and Keswick, Madison and Albany, right back into home again. Where them dwellings was in Billings. Intelligent and skilled until the fellas got the felons in their feelings. So we're intelligent and we're skilled in Chicago, uh, but a lot of us uh, turned into felons, right? Because of the dirt we were doing in these streets. Yelling to the ceiling, skeleton the pelicans, the skeletons and villains. Oh, no. Old money, old money, veterans and millions, elegant and brilliant. Ain't no food and liquor three, we on that medicine and killing. Off top, free chill, yeah. Uh, generating Zen with some nice sore practice. Rest in peace, Verge, LV is vice, Lord backwards. A simple flip with a monogram. Any shit, I had similes on my sonogram. My mama's man. Before I was born, I was doing reconnaissance. My baba taught me how to chop a nigga with my chopper hand. Not at all. A re a reconnaissance is just like, uh, um, you, you know, old Duck Tracy, old, old Dick Tracy, old investigative tapes, right? He said, yo, before I was born, I was doing recognizance, right? Trying to check out these streets, trying to, trying to check out my environment, make sure everything's safe before I step out, right? Simple flip with a monogram, any shit, I had similes on my sonogram, a mama's man. His similes, that this is a wordplay, right? You talk about similes, metaphors, uh, homonyms, synonyms. Uh, he said, yo, I had that on my sonogram. They, they knew I was lyrical in this bitch. So my sonic <laughs> Literally, but not his mama's man, but you know what I'm saying. Sonogram, my mama's man. Before I was born, I was doing reconnaissance. My baba taught me how to chop a nigga with my chopper hand. Not at all prophetic, just chauffeurs in the law's Lexus. The realest nigga alive, no prosthetics or cosmetics. My no prosthetics or cosmetics, right? Realest one alive, right? Realest nigga alive. No cosmetics, there's no makeup on my grill, no prosthetics, right? I don't got any fake parts in me. I'm 100% real, bro. Come on now. Catch the Holy Ghost and start speaking in Nas records, huh? <laughs> they say Nas, be, uh, uh, Nas, right? He's uh, uh, speaking in tongues, bro, right? He's saying he's like, you, you got the Holy Spirit, right? You just start speaking, you're going into a, a different zone with it. Speaking in Nas records, huh? <laughs> 
Said he came through the town, had the flames on his crown. The youth was all excited, and Memphis drooped his whole fucking name into the ground like. Gangsta Boo, what up? Yeah. 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 That's this. What if rap had a blacksmith? Then you catch me lack just the day Farrakhan eat catfish as a Catholic. Yo, uh, Louis Farrakhan, right, from the Nation of Islam. Yeah, you know, he's a, he don't eat anything dirty, right? Uh, he, he wouldn't, uh, you know, this is a cat that I, for sure doesn't eat uh, red meat either, but he only eats certain types of fish and food, right? He's, he's clean. Uh, yo, come on now. Shout out to everybody who knows about the Muslims, right? They come out of the, they come out of the joint, they come out of county, they don't even eat jello, bro. Come on. From the blacklist. What if rap had a blacksmith? Then you catch me lack just the day Farrakhan eat catfish as a Catholic. Report a lie from the blacklist. Accustomed to be in this bag because he packed it, but if they ask, that ain't my bag because I traffic. See the lights from the old spark. Yo, and shout out to our beautiful city, man. I'm not even really looking at this because I'm trying to hear the bars and break it down, but man, look how pretty, pretty Chicago is. Uh, what would have been really cool is if you just saw a little little marks every time there's a a, a, a bullet right uh, every time one of these cameras go off uh, that are flashing blue lights all throughout our hood uh, uh monitoring what's going on in these streets that'd be funny if you saw that or you heard uh the police radar so you know what's going on it looks pretty bro but uh, do not get it twisted you're not going to be wanting to uh, go sightseeing, sightseeing in certain areas of Chicago. You better move with purpose, bro. The traffic. See the lights from the old. And I like what he said too. It was like two minutes ago, but it's brewing in the back of my mind on that side burner. He said, "I wish rap had a blacksmith." Can you think of a blacksmith and all the things that they can do with iron? I'm sure that's a play on words like pistol, right? I wish everybody got custom pistols from a blacksmith, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, the loop is normally a little deeper than that, so I'm, I'm just trying to get the uh, the other meaning. The traffic. See the lights from the old spark. Feeling like Austin meets Oak Park. Behind the Chicago's, they want no parts. Bro, if, if, if you know anything uh, about Chicago, there's invisible lines. Um, it, it's very segregated, right? Chicago's one of the most segregated cities in the world. Uh, there's black areas, there's white areas, and there's Spanish areas. And Oak Park is this beautiful area that has uh, the median price of a home is probably somewhere in the uh, four to five hundred thousand dollar range. But if you just cross the invisible line, that trans uh, it's immediately a black area once you cross over to Austin, and those homes just just uh, drop in value. Right, the same home, and I have one of those homes. Uh, I own a big Victorian home uh, that was grandfathered in with a coach house, uh, and it's, it looks like it should be on the Oak Park side. If it was, it'd be a $500,000 home. Uh, but because it's on the wrong side of the street, that invisible line, uh, it's only worth two to $300,000. Um, it's just that, that invisible line, man. You can be three minutes away but you can't go over there for a sleepover, right? Don't cross the street and go to the store. You know where to stay if you're from Chicago, and it, it really shouldn't be that way, but it is, man. Uh, Austin actually used to be an area where a lot of uh, white people were, uh, but when black people started moving into the community, uh, you had another version of white flight, right? And people started fleeing to other areas of the city, moving north, moving to Oak Park, uh, but then also just keeping the property taxes so high and the property value so high um, that it uh, reduced the amount of riffraff that can make it or live in those communities, basically forcing them to live within these invisible barriers. Come on now. Let's talk about gentrification. And now there's a process where Oak Park is slowly creeping into the west side. They're starting to move past Austin closer to Central, which is the next busy street. Uh, but a lot of people like this area, this particular area of the west side of Chicago because it has the green line. You can get to downtown Chicago in like 20 minutes, uh, which is, is, is a really makes it a wanted area, uh, right? You can get on the 290 Expressway uh, very quick and shoot downtown and shoot to the suburbs. So um, the, this area is primed for gentrification where they come in 
and they uh, basically, and not just white people, but the young urban professionals, the uppies, uh, start taking over properties, uh, investing in the neighborhood, but then the, the rents go up and then people get displaced. Oh, who gets displaced? Well, it's normally black or brown people, right? Because they can't hang uh, with the new taxes, with the new uh, shops. People start calling the police on you and you're like, yo, I've been here 20, 30 years, bro. This is my hood. And now these young white people are telling me that I can't hang out or I need to buy a certain amount of food or I got to spend this much money. That's what happens when the, through the gentrification process. Look at Cabrini Green, right? Now, one of those areas in Chicago, all of a sudden it became so important uh, to remove these people from Cabrini Green and set them free. And you, you look at uh, people in Cabrini Green are like, yo, trust the devil you know, right? Uh, yeah, it might look like it's the hood for you, but I, I spent my whole life here. I know how to move in Cabrini Green. There's a balance in Chicago between the streets, the neighborhoods, um, crime, right? Well, what happened? Cabrini Green is technically in Lincoln Park, uh, which is a well-off area in Chicago. Again, very close to downtown Chicago. Uh, that Those property values, there's properties where Cabrini Green once stood uh, that are three, four, five, six hundred thousand dollar homes. Think about that. That what was the incentive uh, to displace all of these people and then pepper them throughout Chicago? What you did was you peppered all the gangs and all the bullshit, uh, thinking all gangs and all black people are the same. Uh, well, they're not, right? You can't mix certain gangs. You can't mix certain hoods. What about people that were making money on these streets that had borders, right? There was uh, just because you didn't understand the rules. It doesn't mean that there weren't any. But come on now. Bad because he packed it, but if they ask, that ain't my bad because I traffic. See the lights from the old spark. Feeling like Austin meets Oak Park. A hundred Chicago's, they want no parts. Yet the MCA yelling, go art. At the strip club with his eyes closed and throat parched. West side with my whole. Uh, uh, West side with my whole. Uh, Shout out Chicago, bro. Beautiful city, huge city. The city looks huge there, but the actual area, if you wanted to get a place in Chicago, let's say you're just, you're not super hood, but you're not some stray square lane. Uh, really, the only area in Chicago that you would want to live is, is relatively small. Chicago is a very, really big place, but um, and don't think that, you know, you hear all these stats, uh, oh, uh, a thousand bodies in <coughs> Chicago in 2021. Uh, don't be too scared about that because these, uh, it's for the most part isolated around these certain parks in certain areas in Chicago. Um, and they're just, they're just bad areas, right? Um, and it's not the, it, these people are victims as well. A lot of these people grew up here and they, they don't know, <laughs> you know, I don't want to say they don't know any better, but. Uh, the city struggles a lot to improve these areas, um, and I say they struggle, <coughs> but part of it is their fault, right? Uh, I purchased a property on the west side of Chicago, and I tried to invest and get involved with these programs that allowed me to buy just dead wastelands, abandoned lots that were owned by the city. And I actually reached out to the city multiple times about purchasing these lots and fencing them and cleaning them and securing them to help improve the value within the neighborhood. And a lot of times it's just hard to just get correspondence from them. Um, you know, I, I even told them that I would fund personally uh, getting art crews that can paint alongside Lake Street that runs along the Green Line. And I was like, yo, I can communicate with community colleges, art programs. We can get some pictures of civil rights leaders and really clean up this whole area and get a team that can pick up the garbage and, 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 and do these things. The local alderman didn't even reach back out, man. Chicago is such a, a, a shit show. Um, I knew right away when I started, I'm not really, a, a, I don't, it's not my business to go flipping houses. When I bought this property and I spent just thousands of dollars, are you talking about like $30,000 on plumbing, $30,000 on electric, all new HVAC, and they came in to do the plumbing inspection? Bro, this cat came and is now and later gators, bro, creased up, dress pants, just fresh to death, right? 
And I'm just looking like, oh, this is that shit, bro. This man ain't here to explore no pipes. I got to get that envelope ready, slide him a little something, something to pass my inspection. And that's just the way it works in Chicago. And there's a reason they call it Crook County, right? <laughs> But I, yo, we, we, we need more. Come on, Lupe. Where you at, man? You go a lot harder than that. I know you ain't been in the game for a minute. Uh, but yo, we, we need more, bro. And we need to bring a spotlight to Chicago, bro. There's some great artists in Chicago, great restaurants, good living. Uh, but man, Chicago is just a, such a shit show right now. Uh, but yo, if you're a fan, not just of Chicago, not just of Lupe, uh, but if you're a fan of good music, and uh, normally we do more intellectual breakdowns and we just, just start going through the bars and we get surgical with it. Man, if you're a fan, don't forget to like the video, but also subscribe to the channel, show your support.